this right here is the third generation Nissan Frontier. And the third generation replaces the second generation, which is kind of obvious, but what's interesting here is that the second generation had a 17 year run. Yes, 17 years. It was introduced in 2004 as the 2005 model year. The Frontier has been a solid truck, started as a small truck. Those of us who knows the hard body way back in the day, and then there was the first generation Frontier and the second generation. Now this third generation. And it served its loyalists well. Here you could see the second generation saving a plane. I don't know how that happened, but yeah, it's been a hero in its life. So Nissan made its fans wait 17 years. And I personally feel it was a huge disappointment. So let's take a look at this Nissan Frontier here at the LA show. And after this, I will tell you why I think that after 17 years, Nissan missed the mark. All right, right here we have a homage to the Nissan hard body. And if you're old school, you remember those rims from that old Nissan hard body. So this truck looks really good in the red. You can see the four wheel drive graphics. You could see the front bumper is, there's a cutoff. So give it a little more clearance off-road. Um, my thing take on these new Nissan pickups, they look a little smaller than they probably are than the Toyota Tacoma. It doesn't have as much of a commanding presence. Um, looks smaller. It depends who you are. It could be good or bad. Um, I do miss small trucks and lower trucks that you could just easily load stuff. And it looks like Nissan has taken that approach. Um, the Tacoma is a little higher. Um, but like that Prof 4X over here, um, it's nice, but it does look smaller compared to the Toyota TRD Pro. You could tell that the TRD Pro just kind of looks a little more capable, looks a little taller, um, kind of like a bigger truck. But I'm glad there's competition that Nissan is, um, it took forever to, <laughs> to upgrade their, pick, their mid sized pickup truck, but they did. And um, a lot of people love it. It's selling. Um, I hate to see the Titan go away. I hope that Nissan could have done more things to keep it around. Maybe it'll come back. But this is Nissan's mid-size truck. There's only one engine option, but there are different flavors. The third generation's Nissan Frontier's only engine is a gas-powered 3.8-liter V6. It returns 18 city, 24 highway in fuel economy, 310 horsepower, 281 pound-feet of torque. It has a max payload of 1,600 pounds and a maximum towing capacity of 6,640 pounds. You can have this in trim levels of S, SV, Pro X, Pro 4X, SL, Midnight Edition, Hard Body, 5 foot bed and 6 foot beds are available, 2 wheel drive and 4 wheel drive. There is one transmission choice and that's a 9 speed automatic and the Pro 4X gets a electrically locking rear differential. The interior is a nice place to be. You can have it with cloth or leather materials. You have a nine inch infotainment display, a mix of digital and physical controls. This Pro 4X 
is very very well appointed recovery hooks that match the interior built-in shocks and it's ready for off-road but i think you only have nine inches of clearance or so i'll talk about that later nice grade charcoal gray rims profax on the side back here you have light tailgate spray and bed liner tie downs so it's a pretty nice truck but we'll get into nice because nice is a relative term and back to this hard body i really love this it brings back memories and i'm happy they're doing this down here you can see we have a full size spare and nissan is trying and they're keeping customers happy so far if nissan's trying to gain new customers i think they will have to do a little bit better to compete with the tacoma this blue truck right here you see this stance this is what the nissan frontier pro 4x should have looked like this so when i'm talking about nissan field they had a target the target was the trd pro the tacoma trd pro so the regular models it doesn't matter but the trd pro and the pro 4x they're kind of like the halo of that truck you know so how can the tacoma and the frontier be compatible customers are looking at that so if nissan only has so a little over eight inches of ground clearance on the pro 4x while the outgoing tacoma has over nine inches and the upcoming trd pro has over 11 inches of ground clearance nissan you're failing also the systems the off-road aids yes you have a locker and downhill assist but that's it toyota has crawl control multi-terrain select and they have lockers disconnectable sway arms nissan get with the program the other area i want to touch on is you have one engine one transmission come on toyota is killing you again they have a manual transmission they have automatic transmission they're they're modernized to having turbocharged engines four cylinder maybe it's not giving the fuel economy at this time but it will pretty soon also they have a hybrid powertrain this is where the world is going yes people like the nissan v6 but if you're gonna gain new customers you need to get the to the, with the times give people choices so this is why i feel nissan has failed in this truck 